Hello everyone, I am Dan Stapleton and this here is Dave Rudden. Hello! Dave, you are working on this review of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, and this is the Xbox One version we're playing with mm -hmm. here. Uh, just to give you an idea of why we don't have a full review ready to go, uh, I mean, for one thing, this is a multiplayer game that we want to test out on some live servers, and also we've barely gotten to play it yet, because yeah. we just got it the other day. Um, but uh, and haven't really gotten much multiplayer experience at all yet because of issues. But uh, but yeah, for for now we're uh, playing against uh, against bots. Mm -hmm. You're playing as a uh, super zombie. Yep. <laughs> and how's that going for you, Dave? Uh, it's going well. It's this is one of my favorite new characters. Uh, populated in a match that's actually only new characters. Oh, uh, so can, that's a cool setting. Uh, yeah. So that that's that's one of the major additions. Is uh, a lot of people had complaints that so much of the original Garden Warfare was multiplayer only. Uh, you can only do basically uh, garden ops in single player. This one, you can pick any mode and populate it with bots, and uh, you know play it like you can't play it offline because you still need to be connected because you're earning cards and points and all that stuff. But uh, it's still, you know, the fact that you can play anything by yourself is is pretty uh, substantial if you're not a fan of playing. Uh, against uh, ten-year-old kids who scream, <laughs> and uh, this this franchise seems to get a lot of that. But well, there's also a split-screen multiplayer, which is which yeah, is new for it's this another one, new addition. Right? Yeah, so they, they they do seem to have uh, listened and you know figured out how people are actually playing this kind of game, you know either either locally or you know like with with a lot of kids basically. You know, like you don't want something that's where kids are just going to get chewed up yeah. online. All right, so uh, I'm going to let myself die so I can switch to the new zombie. What does what, what this guy? What, what are some of his cool powers? Uh, he's got this little uh, hurricane thing that's good for clearing out people. Uh, there's a projectile right there. Uh, he switches between having this is a melee, but when you zoom in, uh, oh. if I didn't die, <laughs> when you zoom in, you shoot a beam out. Right. Ah, sweet cob. So he's he's kind of like a tanky. Uh, yeah. Melee character for the most part. Uh, another one of my favorites is the Imp, who has really low health, but uh, makes up for it in other ways. Uh, it'll take a while for it to unlock, but uh, it'll be worth it when it does. <laughs> uh, so this this game, you know, it, it, it is nothing if not uh, full of personality. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what are those mechs? That's uh, that's what the Imp can eventually uh, jump into. Oh, nice. It's, uh, it's very Titanfall-esque. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, he's definitely sharing uh, some secrets around uh, that one. Some cross-pollination, yeah. if you will. Uh, see what I did there. So th this this mode you're playing, is, is this just a deathmatch, or what is this? This is one of the new ones, Herbal Assault, which is kind of like Capture the Flag, but with uh, with maps that expand. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the only... Uh, it might be the only new addition that I'm aware of so far. They had a lot of modes in gar the original Garden Warfare by the time they had all the updates and stuff. Uh, but, I mean, there is a, there's a lot to play with. Uh, there's three new, three new classes on each side. Uh, yeah, so, like, uh, as you saw before, the superhero, the imp, and uh, the other one I am blanking on, but uh, as soon as I die, you'll get to see him in action. Are, th are there any like notable omissions? Like, did, did they did they strip anything out that you were expecting out of a PVZ GW game? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Like, just about everything from the original is in here. You can import your characters and uh, any you know new skins that you unlocked. I don't think it, it levels don't transfer, but I believe that uh, uh, any skins you get, like, so the stuff that you spent you know your cards on, you do get. Uh, so, so it is. Uh, there is some, uh, some, lo you know, loyalty stuff for yes. for existing fans. That's cool. That's that's something I'd love to see more of in games. Really, is it's like, hey, you want the, the last one? Here's something special for you. Yeah, and there's also something based on the level that you were at. Like the higher you level you had, the more rewards you get coming into this game. I gotta have the. Uh, look how it's a very slow uh, to build, but I will have my Titanfall mech in a second. <laughs> And you were, you were saying earlier that that like this game kind of resembles Titanfall in its in its pacing and and balance. Like it's got it's got a bunch of uh, fodder yeah. you can you can shoot in some modes. Yeah, makes you feel better about getting killed cons <laughs> consistently by human opponents. You can uh, just take out some of them. And the, these classes, uh, the new classes are are a little bit more specialized than yeah. than what what we saw in Garden Warfare One, right? 
Yeah, which makes... Oh, come on. <laughs> so one of the new uh, plan classes can uh, turn you into a goat who is very easily attacked. I gotta hide out. And Whoa. <laughs> you got you got cornholed. Ugh. But as soon as I all right, I am right here. All right, the Z-Mech is ready. He uh, find a spot to call him in. Does it actually drop in? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very nice. So these classes are, are a little bit more specialized, you were saying. Yes, so. sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, and the fact that like people are going to be playing these at launch more than, I would say, the standard, the, the four that were imported from the first one. Uh, I mean, the Imp is... Oh, I mentioned that guy. The Imp is, you know, he's really cool, but he's got super low health, so you've got to kind of wait out the until you can, uh, you, know, uh, you know, call down the Titan or what have you. Uh, but yeah, so... I've seen these guys. Let me. I'm gonna quickly uh, turn to the backyard and switch out to uh, a plant match. Let's show the other side of the of the war. Yeah. So and they there are three new classes on each. How, how many classes does that make total? Uh, seven. Seven okay. on each side. Yeah. And that and they're all they've all got unique things to do. So I mean that that does theoretically add some some depth to this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, I mean the thing with the you know the original Garden Warfare had a you know a lot of the standard. Uh, classes covered. Like, you had your healing class, you had your tank class, you had your standard. So, like, these ones are a little bit weirder. Uh, let's see. I'll go with one of my favorite new classes. Uh, or one, yeah, one of my favorite new character types, the, uh, the corn. Also, this hub world is new. That's another uh, neat little thing. Uh, let's see. So, uh, da, da, da. Let's start this one up. So what, what can you do in the hub world? Uh, it's really just kind of... Uh, a fancified menu. You can uh, check out your stats. You can customize your characters. You can buy new card packs. Um, like once in a while, there'll be little skirmishes that break out, so you can, uh, you know, kill some fodder non uh, non uh, player characters. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's this is kind of a useless <laughs> move. Cool. Just it, well, if you want to get to a higher ground, uh, yeah, it's, it's good for that. But, basically, a jetpack. Yeah. Uh, but he does have this guy. This character is very uh, offense-based. Um, as soon as I find something to use offense against, uh, yeah, you can call down an airstrike with that. <laughs> there it is, and uh, this little rocket thing I quite enjoy. Nice. I just shoot some. Uh, I should not have uh, <laughs> took that guy head on. So the bots, uh, they seem like they're not terrible. Yeah, I mean, you could choose difficulty level. I probably should have chosen a lower one. Um, the Rose is, uh, when I say like a specialty class, this is a very special class. It's a uh, very unique, uh, kind of magic-based, I would say. Um, there's this thing, which kind of lets you escape undetected, but if you get close enough to an enemy, you can kind of just blast them. Uh, but it's got a very short... Uh, time span. So it makes it makes you invulnerable when you're in that state. So yeah, and uh, yeah, slow people down, and then let's see if I can get them. Turn them into a goat. Nice. As you saw before, <laughs> when I meant to join, jump into a mech, and yeah. uh, did quite the opposite. And let me call up the other new class. Well, uh, there's there's a, a lot of a lot of personality to these guys yeah. and, and their abilities, which is cool. He has a very defense-focused character. I've got a shield that I can pull up, uh, turn into a morph ball, and get away from the action. This is basically one of those Star Wars prequel battle droids. <laughs> Except a melon. Yeah. <laughs> BB eat, because uh, you, know, you can eat them. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. Let me just zoom into the action. <laughs> sort of an electronic-based attack. Yeah, it's fun just to watch. Yeah, and I mean, the fact that, like, you don't have to be contingent on there being a lot of people online or your friends being online. You can just, you know, start a match with bots that are pretty good. Like, uh, I, granted, I'm jumping right into being respawned, but, uh, you know, they'll they'll heal you. 
pretty quickly. If they're nearby, they'll, you know, smartly try to capture a checkpoint when I'm obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> also, so again, this game comes out on Tuesday the 23rd. Yes. Uh, it'll be in early access, or EA, EA access, access yeah. sometime around the time you see this. Uh, so then in that vague area. Yeah. And uh, we'll we'll have our full review up, uh, you know, on the day of or shortly after launch, depending on how, how, uh, how their servers fare. So for much more on Plants vs. Zombies, stick with IGN. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.